What is up guys, how you doing? Chris Barber back here again, Fitness Kid Chris on Instagram. I seem to be getting more and more Instagram followers popping over to this page and finding it. So shout out to you guys, thanks for following me on both social networks, thank you. And today I'm going to do a video that I promised a couple of weeks ago, which someone actually requested. Which is what supplement stack I have, what supplements I use, what brands and why I use them. So I don't, I'm not one of those people who likes to stick to one company and just use only their products because I think that's a bit odd. I think you should find particular products in particular brands that works best for you because for instance I use a lot of my protein stuff but you know I don't like their pre-workout so I use a different brand. So I think you've really got to get out there and test the market which I should actually prepare this. Things such as the Body Power Expo come in handy because you can try out Mammoth, Gear, Multi Power, Carn uh, Muscle Meds, Protein Dynamics. You, you know, for instance, I wanted to try Cut the Protein for ages, but you can only buy it on his website as a big tub. So I don't, and that's from America, so it's like 35 to 40 quid. Which I don't want to do if in case I don't like it. So I, you know, get this at the, the show, try a sample, then you decide we want to buy it or not. Which actually I had with something I'll get onto in a moment. Um, I'll start off with like the, the simple. Everybody has, everybody uses. Yeah, don't want to focus on that. Impact Whey Protein. I always use my protein simply because they did the sample packets online, and I knew a lot of people that used them. So I got a sample packet, tried it. I like it, so it seems to work for me. So there's lots of flavours I don't like. I won't try and jump on a sponsorship by just saying I love every product that they make. No, this is currently car coffee caramel. I hate this flavour and I drink it in front of the sink in case I throw up. So so uh, my favourite is chocolate orange. I mean, I, I bought a five kilo bag of that and that went through pretty easy. I can have it at like 5.30 a.m. It's fine. I can have it at night. You know, there's no sort of like, I have to have it post-workout just because I can take the flavour, because you're really hungry, but um, yeah, some flavours I don't like. I don't like strawberry cream, I didn't like that coffee caramel, uh, the chocolate nut I didn't like, chocolate coconut I didn't like, uh, lemon cheesecake did not mix, That was it wasn't a terrible flavour, but it didn't mix at all, so you had like literally like almost like lumps of oats. It doesn't contain oats, but that sort of size like, lump in there, so, you know, but like I say, you know, got to try the different ones, but I use my protein for that. I also use my protein for simple things like L-glutamine. Actually, I should probably go through why I use them as well. Whey protein, everyone, I assume, understands the, the quality of proteins in your diet. You need to have minimum of one pound of... Ignore the phone. Minimum of one pound of protein in your diet per pound of lean body weight. So for me, I need to be having at least 140 pounds-ish. Uh, 140 grams-ish of um, protein in my diet, I obviously go way past that because that would be a very minimal amount. Uh, but yeah, whey, whey protein is so important, whey protein is a brilliant supplement to get it in quickly post-workout. So Next one up, L-glutamine. Right, Unflavoured, every L-glutamine is the same. You can get more grams of L-glutamine per serving, blah, blah. But this is pure L-glutamine. You get 5 gram scoop, you have 5 grams. Um, it works the same as creatine they're both the product that they are is the product that they are you can buy one for 50 quid it's the same as the one for 14 pounds whatever it is for 500 grams which is like 5 billion servings so don't jump on the bandwagon of buying some super L-glutamine for you know 15.99 for 10 servings because it will reduce all muscle soreness which is ridiculous you know just it's a bog standard product just you know it is what it is um, L-glutamine for post, you know, it doesn't, I think it really matters when you have it during the day. It's just that it reduces your post-workout and delayed onset muscle soreness, which will be the day after or the following day. It really does actually make quite a big difference. You do notice it. It won't like be 
first time you have it, you won't suddenly be like, oh, I've got no pains. You have to, you want to get used to using it, have it on a daily basis, it has to build up in your system, same as creatine monohydrate. So there's not much really to say about creatine, but exactly the same as with this. Don't go for an expensive one every single day. People say about cycling it, and it's a, it's a very here or there sort of situation. I don't think you need to, personally. I, I won't cycle it, but like I'm going to America for a month, so I'm not, I'm not going to bring creatine with me. I'm not going to take it for the month. I'll come back, because I've had it for like uh, eight months solid. I won't have it for like a month and a bit, and then I'll come back and I'll start using it again. And it takes a couple of weeks to build up in your system, because <laughs> I'll get my scientific stuff, because uh, I get the terminology mixed up, but basically it's to do with the ATPs in your muscle, into your muscles, to do with your explosiveness and the fast recovery of your muscles. So you, your continuous like, it will increase your strength and your ability to continue pushing because, like I say, I'll get I'll get the terminology wrong, so I'm not going to go too far into it because I don't want to give up miss like bad um, information, but you know. I know what it means in my head, but putting it out in words is a bit more complicated. But it's like, um, yeah, it's for the explosiveness of when you're working out. And it does make a difference. If you do take this for six weeks, seven weeks, you'll notice your difference. Stop taking it for like two weeks, which is about the amount of time it takes to drop, draw out your system. And you'll suddenly realise your weights will probably decrease ever so slightly in your energy. And your explosiveness and just your push in the gym will probably drop ever so slightly. Um, some people are more responsive to it than others. For me, I think I've had quite a good response to creatine. And um, it's five grams a day. You can cut, you can creatine load, and you can you can have like ten grams a day for like three days, and then lower it down. And then, but for the sake of what creatine does, and I mean, it is the most widely researched supplement in bodybuilding. You know, it's the biggest. Everyone is it's hugely researched. I mean, people use it for sprinters, use it, um, and rowers, and people like that who are using like that fast, even for cardio agility, like that quick speed. They want that sort of supplement in their diet, but. Um, I mean, you don't want to take more than, you definitely don't want to be taking more than 10 grams a day. I mean, if you do, you're going to have to cycle it if you're doing 10 grams a day, really. But 5 grams a day, just consistently, you don't need to cycle it unless you want to. For me, I feel like, just because just I'm going away, I'm not going to take the supplement and I'll cycle off it. BCAAs, I've recently switched to EHP Labs. Let's try and get us to focus on this one, because it's a nice tub. Da -da -da -da. There you go. Oh, man. There you are. Right, kiwi watermelon, and you can get. See, this is where I have the issue. Why does something continuously track? It's because it's on single focus. That's why. I'm telling myself. Right, so here you've got 10 grams of 211 BCAAs. You've got 5 grams of L-leucine, 1 gram of alpha HICA, and 3 grams of citrulline malate. 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 Why can't they make like terminology like that so much more easier to pronounce? But yeah, BCAAs, I mean, they are branched chain amino acids, they're so important in your, in your protein synthesis and your muscle recovery, your energy in the gym, dehyd something your dehydration. So it's got on there blah, 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 recovery, performance, endurance. And for me, I do feel they make a big difference. And it's got on there, you consume consistently during training. Prior to any during, prior to and during any hit or LISS cardio exercise, especially when in a fasted state, and it does make a difference. It does stop you being quite so hungry. It's got a nice flavour to it, and it kind of fills you up a little bit. Right, fat burners. This is what I'll be using from now on. Well, when I go to cutting again, because I'm not cutting at the moment. I was on CLA, and I took some raspberry ketones for a little while as well, and they seem to work pretty good. And the CLA was definitely definitely does work. People say it doesn't, but it 100% does. Kind of it's a difference within like three or four days. But these for me, they're sort of such a nice flavour and to, to be honest, call me a sucker for it, but I believe the company, I believe the, I believe all their reviews and all people coming up to me saying about how good this fat burner is. And before I even test it, I've decided I'm going to be using this. So Whether I'm a sucker for the branding, I don't know. But they, I mean, I'm changing their protein next too. I haven't got something. Oh, yes, I have. This Oxyway strawberry milkshake genuinely tastes like a strawberry milkshake, which for supplement companies is rare. Most supplement companies say chocolate brownie, and it tastes just like blended up 
brand I don't know, I don't even know. It tastes like brownie batter that's been left for a week and then mixed with some old milk and an old egg and then <clears throat> just some supplements you get in like I tried one earlier. I can't remember what brand it was, and it was just a plain packet. I was just like, what is this? I tried it, it's really thick, really lumpy, really gooey. And it tasted like the chocolate batter you'd left, that you put a bit of fairy liquid, a bit of water in it, and left it sit on the side. And someone's gone, put in a shaker cup, try that. It was horrendous. But, current pre-workout though, until end of the, end of the week. NO Explode 2. No, now for me, I actually really like this. Um, I, I originally thought I was actually buying the 3.0 version, but I wasn't. I got it wrong. I put the 2.0. It's, it's nice. I can't deal with the, the big kick. I had a muscle farm pre-workout. I think the muscle farm. Black with the green logo. And um, that stuff, like, nearly killed me. Like, my tongue went... I'm not even kidding. Something in that reacted my body really badly. And my tongue went numb. My elbows and my knees went red. And my joints were, like, on fire. Like, actually, like, physically searing pain. Like, my shoulders and my knees. I was like, there's something wrong with this pre-workout. I got to give a good workout in, to be fair with you, but it wasn't comfortable. This small amount of, like, kick keeps you more focused, a bit more energised. Gives you that sort of... Maybe slight placebo effect, but you seem to be able to work harder and push that bit further when you're on a pre-workout. It might just be, like I say, placebo effect, but... Um, and it gives you a really good pump, I'll say that much. You can take that, do a little bit of beginning warm-up, and you're really pumped up real fast. Right, next we're going to do uh, vitamins and tablets and whatever, but I'm going to grab them from downstairs. Okay, part two, I thought I'd do in two little parts because, um, I don't know, I fancy trying a bit of editing by sticking a little banner up. If that didn't work, you're just going to get two videos blurred into one and then you can pretend that was really good. So, multivitamins, this is mine. I take Super One Formula. This Holland and Barrett 100 tablets in a pack. Now, I'll give you a little pro tip on this one. If you go into Holland and Barrett and they've got a sale on, they'll do two packs of 50 for about £5.49. Or well, you can get a pack of 100 for about £4.68. So if you're any good at maths, you'll be able to work out that buying the sale price of two, two products cheaper ends up being more expensive than buying the one product on the original price. So that's how branding works in Holland and Barrett. But this... I've actually weighed it up against quite a lot of other multi multivitamins that I can find and this has got the best value in it, like you've got a lot of products in here that don't, a lot of multivitamins don't contain as much zinc or, what was the other one I had written down, uh, iron or copper or calcium, they don't put a huge amount of effort into putting as much into that, so for me that's why I take one a day, one a day every morning. Omega-3s, careful with this one, it's my protein and you take one, one, three times a day. Now, they do another one. No, they used to do an Omega-3. Same bottle with the blue at the top. Two a day. Uh, two at a time, three times a day. So this actually double the strength. So you've got to be careful when you get that, because I was taking two per serving three times a day. It's actually a serving size of one. So Omega-3, you've got to be taking them. Uh, for Omega-3 is just like the ultimate. I'm not going to go into how... I'll put a list or a link underneath of the reasons why you should take Mega 3s, but basically, if you're not taking them, you should be taking them and go and buy some now. Pause this video, go buy some, come back. Um, zinc. Now, zinc I take for uh, general immune system health. Uh, last year, admittedly, I was very underweight, so that probably paid a big contributor to it, uh, but I was ill literally, and this is an exaggeration, every three weeks. I'd be ill for about two weeks out of three. I have a week, well, ill for two weeks. It, you know, it was really bad. Like, I was just like, just not even like throwing up stuff like that. Just like a bad head cold. Felt sick, felt dizzy, really overtired. Couldn't concentrate. Just down, groggy, tired. Everything was just wrong. But it's just like, start taking these and definitely help you a huge amount. Stop you. Cause I think I seem to just catch everything that's going. But these just, I have been ill for about 11 months now. At all. Like, not even a cold. So... I swear by them, they're brilliant. Vitamin D3. Now, this is not applicable for everybody. Applicable? Applicable. Is it? Not everyone needs these. Uh, squeaky chair. Uh, vitamin D3. I work in a factory from 7am till 5pm. 
Most of the year that means I don't see any sunlight all day. Vitamin D is what you get from sunlight. So I'll literally go straight to work when it's probably usually still dark or just getting light. I'll come out of work when it's you know, still light or whatever. I'll go straight to the gym and then I'll come out when it's dark. So I don't spend a huge amount of time in the in the daylight. I'm kind of like a, a vampire. I like to stay, stay, out, stay in the shades. But um, for me that's very important and that's helped me out a lot actually. Uh, nice little pile of supplements down there now. <laughs> Clear it all up. Now, glucosamine sulfate. I never took this. A uh, guy at the gym suggested it because I had a lot of wrist pains. Uh, I can even pick up like a 10 kilo dumbbell, so it's a 22 pound kilo dumbbell, without my wrist getting a shooting pain down the back here. Um, I used to get shoulder pains in both sides from bench pressing. My elbows would really flare up when I did triceps. And I just have a lot of weak joints, they just seem to hurt a lot. I don't know if that's just from years of bad diet before I started bodybuilding. I think it might just be might just be down to that. Down to my work maybe, lifting heavy stuff without warming up all day. Whatever it is, I can now pick up a 32 kilo dumbbell, 70 pound dumbbell roughly, without any pain to my wrists. Put them up at an angle, put them down like that, do triceps at a hook or an angle, bench press, whatever, no pains anywhere at all. I've only started using wrist wraps again, just so I'm going for like the power powerlifting sort of style of one rep max or five by five sort of workouts because I don't want to put too much pressure on the wrists. But that's not not because of pain. But literally, I, I struggled with picking stuff up and using stuff even at work. I put something down, I have to flex my wrist and hold them, massage them a little bit before I got them back to normal. So huge, huge help for me, glucosamine sulfate, and it helps your knees out as well for squatting and stuff like that because you'll see putting a lot of effort and a lot of pain through your knees. So it definitely helps out on that. And then I can't think of any more supplements I've got learn about. But I think that is pretty much my stack. So I've got multivitamin, glucosamine sulfate, zinc, vitamin D3, omega-3, fat burners, pre-workout, BCAAs, L-glutamine, creatine, whey protein. I think that's it. I think that's it. But, um, you know, people say like, all this stuff you put in your body, you know, you don't know what you put in there, but you've got like a pre-workout, okay, you've got taurine, you've got caffeine, you're getting, you know, you might as well have having like four or five cups of coffee, you might have a really strong cup of coffee, it might have the same effect. Whey protein, it's, we have protein in our diet anyway, it's just this is a concentrated form to get it into your body quicker. Uh, vitamin D3, like I say, you get it from sunlight anyway, creatine one hydrate. Creatine is naturally produced in your body anyway, in slightly small amounts, but it's still produced in your body. Your body's used to it, it's not a, an outsider sort of thing. L-glutamine, yes, that's an outside product, but, okay, we've got one outside product so far. BCAAs, branched chain amino acids, are nat uh, they're not naturally produced inside your body, the ones that you can get from um, the supplements, but the general amino acids are produced in your body, so it's just an, one, not produced in your body, but you can get it from foods. So they're naturally going to be eaten or consumed anyway, so that's another one that's fine. Zinc in food, you know, glucosamine sulfate, that's, that is a supplement. So, I mean, you've only got like two or three that really you're putting in additionally. It's just that you're supplementing them in in a different way to get more direct and straight into your body at a particular time, which is the timing of the supplements more than anything. So, well, that is it. That is my stack. It's just a long talking video, but, you know, I, th I find that sort of video is interesting for myself to watch because it's interesting to see what other people use. Because if you've got a, a joint problem, maybe your wrist really hurt when you're doing stuff at work or you're just putting stuff down and you think that's the way it is. Try some vitamin D, uh, try some glucosamine sulfate and try the zinc as well. And I think that together should be enough to sort of combat that and you should really notice the difference. Bear in mind, any tablet form, generally speaking, takes six weeks to get used to it in your body. So don't take glucosamine sulfate for two weeks and say it's crap, it doesn't work. Get a big bottle, take it for six weeks, see how you get on with it, and see if it makes a difference. So I think it will. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want any more like this or any more in depth, and I'll put like links to information about individual supplements down there if you want any of them. But um, thanks for watching guys. I'll upload this right now because I've got nothing else better to do with my time than to sit here and edit videos and put them straight away up the second I finish with them. It's a bank holiday Monday and the gym's shut, which absolutely sucks. So, see you guys next video. I should be able to get... Oh, my next video will be me in Germany. So that will be more of a vlog than a fitness video, but maybe I'll do it as a full day of eating. My phone just hit the floor. 
because you've got a massive case on it, so it won't smash the screen. Anyway, see you guys next video for my Germany full day of eating. Decided. See you later.